Good morning, this is a small video about the uh, generation of test cases out of Rosario's Team Architecture Edition activity diagrams. First, let me show you how it looks, how it works, and after that I can show you some code. Okay, this is Kameno. Um, I already selected my team project, eBanking, and you can see over here the test cases which needs to be executed for this application you can generate create a new test case by hand and this is what needs to be done for the application step one step two and to execute this test case manual testing needs to walk through these steps So now we've got four test cases. Okay, let me show you the activity diagram. This is, for example, an activity diagram which describes uh, some functionality of the e-banking application, uh, the steps, it, the actions that needs to be taken uh, to realize something in that e-banking application. Uh, Tesla needs to test this activity diagram needs to test all the test parts and possible combinations. Um, in a normal situation he probably would uh, do that manually um, but we created a recipe an action which generates the test cases for him. Um, we've added an extra menu item generate test cases uh, I push that button, it generates the test cases for us. Okay, let's disable well, this time all the breakpoints. And as you probably will see, okay, uh, I use the guidance automation toolkit for it. In the future, it probably will be a progression command. Um, uh, just for the sake of time, I'm more familiar with the guidance automation toolkit and also the activity diagram isn't yet available in the back plane, so it would be a bit troublesome to use progression commands. Progression commands can be found in the architecture explorer. Okay, it's finished creation the test cases and the test steps so let's go back to Kameno and see if it generated something you can see over here it generated four test cases and in those test, uh, test cases you can see the test steps which needs to take place and this is test case one with a test step from initial to blah 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 action and another step blah blah action to activity final and that's this one from initial to blah blah action and blah blah action to final and we've got this one test case for it's got five steps from begin to three, four, five, six to final, and that's the one on the right over here. Okay, let's look at some code uh, for that. I'm going to create a new activity diagram. Thank you. Generate test cases for this e banking activity diagram. Okay, I enable all the breakpoints, so we get in debug mode. <coughs> As you can see, um, this is just a normal guidance package. And what you probably would see, I reused the Service Factory guidance package. I stripped it completely so I could easily can use the 
libraries. Um, it takes me some time, but uh, for sure I you must refactor this one. Um, not that important for this pilot project. Uh, yeah, this is just for looking how it's going to work and if it's going to work and if we can manage to to achieve this functionality. Okay, what it does, uh, it grabs the activity model, the domain model of the activity diagram. It iterates through all the shapes and collects the connectors between them. And the connectors are uh, the flow between two uh, shapes. As you can see over here, um, this diagram has eight connectors. And the connector has an end shape ID and a start shape ID. And by that, I can generate test cases. Okay, here's where I generate the test cases. I take the first knot, look at the start knot, and try to go as fast as possible to the end knot. Um, there should be more logic behind this one, uh, but it's also because for well, the spider project it's it's enough right now. Uh, this is going to be the heart of the application with a lot of intelligence behind it. Uh, for now, I keep it this way uh, just to look if it's working uh, the way I want it to work. Okay, when I've generated the test case and the test steps in there. I'm going to create work items for it, and that's this piece of code. And you can see I've made a connection to the Team Foundation server, and yeah, for sure uh, this should be or, or a configuration item, or should be just the active connection. That's not that important, uh, and also this work item types that I get from the banking application that should be also a configuration item after that when I've got all the work items I want <coughs> a work item type type test case I'm going to iterate through all the test cases and after that I'm going to iterate through the test steps and generate a work item for it you can see it over here. It's grab the test case manager. I can grab the test case team project. And this is the most interesting one. Create a test case from form work item. And over here, I'm going to iterate through the test steps and create the test steps for that work item. Below test case flush, test case save, and some kind of functionality for test cases. And when we go to Kameno, we can view all the test cases just generated. And we've got three test cases with the steps. From one to two to four to final, and that's that this one on the left. So, still a lot of work to do, uh, but I think it's going the right direction. Uh, I like it so far. Uh, there are still some things uh, which can be done. For example, uh, it should be nice when you can go to work item over here. But um, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, should be possible with some flexible properties or something like that. For now, I keep it this way. Um, feel free to give any comment. Uh, thank you.